everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to describe how to install the Ubiquiti Unify Controller as a Proxmox VE LXC container. So I have um, this block that I have created for it uh, step by step, and I'm just going to go through this uh, um, instruction that I just wrote myself step by step, uh, just creating a video about it so that you can see uh, first hand in action what to type in and what are the results etc so make it a little bit easier basically uh, for those of you that want to follow this blog I'm also going to put this uh, URL in the description of this video so that you can refer to this particular blog and you can copy and paste some of these commands here that will be useful uh, for you to do all right let's get started um, First thing that you want to do uh, is go to your Proxmox VE, go to your storage and make sure that you downloaded a template for Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, so the way that you do this is just you go to Proxmox, you go to your um, storage. I'm just going to pick one of my storage. Um, here is one of my storage. Go to content and go to templates and then I'm going to search for 18.04 standard um, and click on download okay so this should take a few seconds the next thing we're going to do is create the uh, container so we're going to create uh, an LXE container we're going to choose the uh, ID I'm just going to choose a free ID uh, for 107 for mine uh, type in the host name and then the uh, password the password can be anything um, as long as they are matching and then click next um, I'm gonna choose local MD0 that's my software RAID and I'm going to choose 16.04 uh, you should choose 18.04 because the reason I'm choosing 16.04 is because this particular version of Proxmox is too old for it to support 18.04. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you can support 18.04, I recommend you choose that one. Okay, so choose 16.04, uh, click next, and uh, storage, and uh, I do 32 gig. Um, the CPU and the CPU units, uh, just leave it as default and I would like to put one gigabyte of memory for both the memory and the swap click next and I'm going to put my IP address as dot uh, four slash 24 and the gateway leave everything on the left high left hand side the same and click next leave this as default just uh, inherit it from the host and click finish this will only take about 10 seconds for it to, to create the uh, container. So let's just wait for it. Creating hosts, creating SSH keys, and uh, in a few more seconds that should be done. There you go, test OK, that means it's done. So let's close this. And our container is right here. Let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do uh, is execute the uh, sudo app update okay so let's go to console um, turn it on wait let's go here console there you go okay so let's log in using root and oh yeah so we're gonna do root as a password um, <clears throat> so you don't have to use the uh, sudo uh, command. All right, let me log in. All right, sorry about that. I think I typed something wrong. All right, there we go. Okay, so um, so we're just gonna do app update. And uh, this is gonna take a few minutes and afterwards we're gonna get the uh, CA certificate. Okay, so 
we are still in the root directory and the next thing we're going to do is do apt get install ca certificates and then wget and dash y so we're installing ca certificate and wget and the dash y simply just confirm yes for every single question so this is going to take a few seconds Okay, and uh, while we're waiting for that, let's go through the next step. So we just did this one right here. And the next step is uh, we're going to do a wget to get the, the shell script from here. Okay, and it's done. All right, so next we're gonna do is wget https colon slash slash get glennr.nl slash unify. Uh, sorry, hang on a second, slash install slash unify dash 5.11.39.sh Right, so let that download. Okay, so we have it there and then we're going to make it executable by doing chmod change mode plus x unify Okay, and then we're just going to run it or execute it just like that is executing right now. Okay, so this may actually take um, a few minutes, so I'm gonna speed up the video. Okay, so now it's asking, do you want to keep the script running on your system after completion? I'm going to say yes. But before this particular question, did you see that there was a warning about the memory being low? So one gigabyte does work um, from my experience because I have this installed elsewhere, but two gigabyte is the recommended uh, amount of memory. So at two gigabyte, you will not get that message. All right, so I just answered yes to keep the script running so that it um, it immediately runs every time you restart and uh, also after this install it will automatically run I think it's doing a large update for Ubuntu Wow, okay, this may take a while. Okay, the container has been created and Unify has been installed. Um, so the next thing to do is to go to this particular address uh, right here, https 192.168.8.4 colon 8443. So we're just going to do that right here. And that should bring us to the Unify screen, login screen, for you to go ahead and configure your Unify system. And <clears throat> uh, have a, well, this pretty much concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.